Alright, welcome back everybody. Next episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We are going to continue main story, see where it takes us, and probably keep going, uh, and looting, exploring, bolster. She yelling. Are he yelling at him? God has heard my prayers. You flatter me, Lord. But what's wrong? Where's Bada? He's not returned, nor have two messengers sent after him. This cannot be simple misfortune. It hints at some dark design. Let me go after him, Lord. If he lives, I will find him. Even with your cunning and guile, you would not go unchallenged. Not without a king's pass, and few Vikings have those. <laughs> I'd wager a few from Donegal do. Donegal? A Norse settlement? A port on the western shore. A fair bit of their trade finds its way to Aliach, so someone there is bound to have a pass. Is this port well guarded? It's crawling with Norsemen grown lazy on success. They'd not expect someone to go Viking on them. Good. I will go to Donegal now and get one of these passes. With your leave, Lord. If it means fewer lives lost, you have my blessing. Fewer lives lost. <sighs> That's not the way I work. Come on now. Oh, once we go there? Fuck. All right. We'll go. We'll do this first, I suppose. Actually, I should have done the uh, the sink point. Bummer. Too late now. Mistake, though, on my end, for sure. Alright. Give me two seconds. I gotta put my watch on. I forgot to put it on after my shower this morning. There we go. Alright, let's do this. Going this way. Maybe it would have been better if I fast traveled up to the viewpoint, just jumped off the edge. Hello? Come on, game. There we go. But again, it's too late. Now we climb. What? Climb, damn it. Let's do this. Lots of just small little bunny hops going on right now. This terrain is kind of frustrating. I wish it was an AC Odyssey, where you could just jump off and never have to worry about fall damage ever. My favorite part of the game. Granted, not, I don't know how I say it, it's not realistic by any means, but it is faster for the game. By long shot. But oh well, I digress. We'll make do with what we got here. Almost there. King's Pass. That's just one of these. That's easy enough. Again, that one looks like they would have business with Allah. This should get me through Allah's gates. So, maybe go there to go up here. 
That's wild. Okay. Sure, game. Sure. suppose we just go this route then streamline story until it brings us to the eastern part of Ulster since everything's on the west so far this looks pretty though these guys are probably looking to yell at me hey! there we go idiots It's a good thing I can climb. An impressive fortress. One cannot help but wonder what's within. Now to see how they treat someone with a king's pass. What business have you here? The business of kings. Here's my pass. Go on, then. Bet. Who are you to come before the kings of Ilar unannounced? <laughs> Thurkel. You're not Thurkel. Uh, I don't know you. I am Sturm of Donegal. Who's Thurkel? The King of Dublin speaks of a cousin who advised us for a time. A glorified goat herder who should have taken our advice. So, Sturm, what brings a Viking from Donegal here? You tell me. I came at your invitation. There's some mistake. I sent no such message. It wasn't me. It could have been you know who. But he hates Vikings. Forgive my brother's bluntness. We will get to the root of this, I assure you. Can I offer you a drink? Yes. More drink? I haven't seen the bottom of my cup since I got here. <laughs> if I wasn't a trusting man, I'd say they're trying to keep me drunk. No drink for me. I'll return when you have finished your king's business. If it's not drink you're wanting, you should take a tour of the ring fort. It's, it's renowned throughout the land. As we've told you several times, King Barda, the ring fort of Arla is not open to guests. In fact, you could even say that it's closed for a select few. Ah, so you're keeping prisoners there. <laughs> oh, have a drink, you two. Do you think I haven't taken a few hostages myself? I'll seek out a place to rest until you remember why I was summoned here. Of course, of course. Your pass will grant you free run of this place. If you see Ferkel, say hello for me. For the last time, Bart. The ring fort is off limits. Good to know. That's exactly what I'm doing. Right. Freeing Fergal could be key to liberating Alach. And to do that, I need to get inside that fort. Yep. Which we've done before. My pass won't get me into that ring fort. I'll need to find another way. One that involves climbing. So we gotta free the prisoners. They're in the middle. I need that guy's key. Fuck. Where'd the key man go? Loot! Give me. 
Nom nom nom. Alright. You son of a bitch. Really? He did a stupid ass pause. Everyone over here. Yeah, I hope All this right. is the right key. Is there someone here named Fergal? You're I am he. Friend to me. Who wants Thank to you. know, Viking? I serve Bardic Makiva and King Flan Shinna. They offer you freedom. Thank you so much. You're so very welcome. Kill still. Hey. Hello. this guy come from? And how the fuck is he where he is? Is he glitched? He seems glitched. Fucking A, man. He is 100% glitched. Controller is not feeling it right now. What? Fucking beast. And he was what? Oh, I just shot my own team. Okay. I can't hit the side of a fucking barn right now. Glitching out that guy. That's super annoying. Like you guys just fight. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, 
or is he is there like a room in here? Oh! You filthy bitch. It's a fucked up spot to put a, a guard that you have to kill. Definitely killed a lot. That was really, really rough. Join us, cousin. We've been having a grand old time, the kings and I. It's the abbot who's turned this place into a prison. He's taken hostages from all the families to control all of Ireland. Shut your gab, Donald. Owen would kill you if you talk too much. And Flan will kill us if we don't. It's like Donald said. It was Owen. He told us to delay whoever came until... Until what? Until the abbot can move his forces in. How many men? How many? We don't know. No one does. He has some companies at Armagh, more men than he lets on. That's all I know. Left to my cousin, you'd both be puddles of blood and guts. But King Flan might spare your heads. You'll be treated as hostages, not prisoners. Until your king decides what to do with you. Now, think on your sins. It'll be easier in the end to let them keep their crowns, but... They don't need to know that yet. Flan must learn of this trap. I've already sent messengers telling him to pull his army back. I wasn't going to sit on my arse waiting for you. I'm impressed. Don't be. It took days of drinking that swill before Neil finally grew bored and careless. You have outdone yourself. I'll be sure to let the king know who the real hero was today. Thanks to you, cousin. Make sure that message reached Flan and I'll join you all later. May Sol and Mauni guide ye. So I have to hunt down the messenger. Also, let's get rid of the cloak. Um. All right, so we have to go this way. Wait, just here. Sick. Um. Part of me wants to do this, but then I know I'm gonna get sucked into going over here. So let's just continue on main story, shall we? Go talk to Flan, and then we can go from there. All right, Larry, catch up. Speed. There we go. Get there as quickly as possible. Report to Flan. And then he'll probably want to do a raid on A. Ager. Ager? Whatever place that was. That would be my guess, but we'll see if he wants to do something before that. We will have to just wait and see. Locker. Kicks you off of here. Out. Interesting. Eivor, you did well at Alec. We march in the morning. I think it no small thing for you to lead my honor guard. Did you not get Vardet's message, Lord? You must pull back, not move forward. This ruse is part of a larger trap not yet sprung. 
Barrett believes to know the minds of these kings, but the church has taken root and flourished since my uncle's day. The church is behind the plot against you. Did the message say nothing of Abbot Owen? King Neil and King Donal were doubtless seeking a cast blame elsewhere. The church is a convenient scapegoat. What if there's some truth to Barrett's suspicions? Owen is the Abbot of Armagh. God's appointed in Ireland. I cannot doubt him on the word of a friend. You mean a pagan? Why are you all still here? Did my message not get through? It did, but King Flan is not convinced. You must pull out the clotter now, my king, before we are surrounded by Owen's army. You do not command me, Barrett McKeever. If there was an army, my scouts... Your scouts are dead. Baldur's blood, Flan. How many must die before you learn to trust? You forget yourself, Barrett. Do not invoke your false gods in my presence. Listen. What's that? Owen's wolves have arrived. I didn't come this far to die in a tent, my king. We're under attack! Come on! The gods here are vigilant. Alright. Do not waste your own! Big guy's gone. That's what I like to see. This guy could die with an arrow in the face. Or two. They're all around us. The archers have fire! Know. They come from the fields! Blunt those archers bars! Leave none alive! Come like wolves! Now die like dogs! I have an infinite amount of axes. Until then. Man is arrived. Yeah, no, no more of that, buddy. You deserve that knife in the face. There's more. All right. Beautiful. We held them off at a great cost. Eivord, where is Barith? Barith, can you hear me? Barith Makiva! Have you seen King Barith? Aye. He was headed towards the farm on the edge of the village. A cold hand grips my heart. Oh, shit. 
end, don't you think? Worthy of a saga, maybe. And you thought I'd gone soft. No one knew your true measure. Not even you, cousin. <coughs> you had your doubts. Good thing I was too stupid to give up. <coughs> your bravery will be remembered, but I'll see to it. Hold your weapon well, cousin. I will see you in Valhalla. Sigfrid is my Valhalla, Eivor. Valhalla need not be a place. It can be a legacy. Flan must back him. Have him swear by his god. There's nothing the Christians fear more than their almighty's wrath. Sad. Good touch with the bird in the background. It will be done. A hero's funeral. Aerith has become a greater man in death than he was in life. Or maybe we were too small to see his full size. A harsh truth. But fair. He saw more clearly than I. And I ignored his counsel. Owen will pay for his death. What then? When the abbot is gone and you've tamed the north, what of Sigfrath? Will you give him your royal support? When he has proven himself. It would not be good politics at this time. Trolls take your politics! Varith gave his life in your service. If this is how you repay loyalty, you'll be in short supply. Twice you stung me with truth. I'll return the favor. Sigfrith isn't ready. But he could be, with proper teaching. Good. He'll benefit from your wisdom. And my support. But neither throne will be secure while Owen lives. We'll throttle the snake. And afterwards, the fate of this land will be in your hands. Yours and Sigfrith's. The horses are being made ready, my king. Sure you don't want to rest your bones and leave by dawn's light? My thoughts ride too rough for sleep. I have an army and reputation to reclaim. The second may prove harder than the first. My mother used to tell me how the Morrigan would feed on the death of heroes, then fill men's heads with thoughts of war. I imagined using the Tara Stone to drown out their song, the way Bishop Patrick drove the snakes from Ireland. There's no power strong enough to do what you say. Not even the gods can change fate. The world is destined to end in war. It was not but the fantasy of a young girl, so... <laughs> Tell Flan I'll come to him after I have arranged things with Sigfrid. Tell him yourself. I'm not leaving yet. Fine. I will tell him myself, girl. Oh shit, I'm here? Okay, cool. Um, That is going to be the end of this episode. We will continue here next episode. But, thank you guys so much for watching. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Hope you have a good rest of your day, night, whatever it is. And I will see you the next one. Peace.